Martin. Friends, it is a great joy to be here with you today to tell you about our school. Now, at this point in the contest, you probably know a good bit about our school. You've taken the tours. I think I had four or five by this point. Uh, you've heard all the regulations and the statistics and the ratios. So I'm not here to tell you about that. I'm here to tell you about Erskine from a student's perspective. Not just the perspective of any student, but my perspective. It's not that Erskine is different for each student, but each student is different, thus they have a different perspective about Erskine. I also want to be careful to paint for you a realistic picture of Erskine. I, won't, I do not want to give you the idea that Erskine is a perfect place. If you come in in August, you're bags in hand, thinking that if you're in a perfect place, you're going to be disappointed. And the admissions office doesn't want you to be disappointed, so they work hard to give you a realistic picture of what you're going to see. And I want to do that for you today. So, I'm going to give you a realistic picture and tell you why I love Erskine. First, I want to tell you, I came out of a small Christian school, and I loved it. It was a great environment for me, and that's what I wanted for my college career. I uh, wanted to be able to walk the class. I didn't want to bus. I didn't want grad students. Uh, it was my source of academic gain for four years that I was here. And I did not want to be known by my social security number. I wanted to be Sam. So I came to Erskine. And I didn't realize what I had in comparison with other schools until I'd been here about a year and I went and visited my brother. Ben is at Western Carolina, and he absolutely loves it. It's a bigger school, um, and it's a public school. I was there one weekend. We were walking around campus, and I noticed that they don't talk to each other. They walk by each other in university. You know, we walk down the street, and we say, hey, how are you doing today? <laughs> if you don't say, hey, back, something's wrong with you. <laughs> Friendly environment is what I love. There's somewhere around 600 students at Erskine. And I can probably name 450 of them and tell you something about them. That's the kind of environment that we have here. Not only that, but we have a supportive community around us. Erskine loves Due West, and Due West loves Erskine. I've had the joy of getting to know many of the residents of Due West. I love the fact that I can walk down the road to church on Sunday mornings. Even more than that, I love the fact that before I'm halfway there, I have church members stopping and asking if I'd like a ride. Erskine gives you more than most colleges. Not only are our academic standards high, but Erskine provides a place to grow and gives you opportunities that you don't have at every school. For instance, on Sunday nights, we meet for worship in a barn. Not every school can get a quarter of the campus together at a time to worship on Bell to Pay. Something unique that we have at our school. I have a directed study this semester with a professor, and this PhD and I spend an hour and a half a week together. Now, many schools that you may be looking at, you will have a grad student in the class of 200. At Erskine, I have an hour and a half a week with a PhD, something that not every school will give you the opportunity to have. And I would convinced that you can educate students better in that kind of environment with these kind of class sizes. Erskine provides chances for academic growth, spiritual growth, and whole person growth. Erskine offers what other schools do not. A lot of my close friends complain about not finding friends right now, having a lot of Christian friends, not liking the grad students who are grading the papers. These are problems that we just don't have at Erskine. I tell you, I'm a senior, and I'm sad to see the 19 coming so quickly. I tell people that it's because I'm not ready to live life with responsibility, but I think it's more the fact that I'm leaving a community that I really is growing to want. I wrote an article that's coming out this week in the student newspaper, and I'm going to read you a little clip of what I wrote just so you'll know that I'm not saying all this for an admissions talk, I really believe this stuff. <laughs> After four years at Erskine, I've fallen in love with this institution. Until the day I die, I will thank God for my opportunity to spend four of the best years of my life in such a place. I am one of Erskine's biggest fans, and I constantly work to convince high school seniors that this is the only college for them. 
And I go on to say, from the towers that point to heaven, look she proudly down, through the ages we will cherish all the precepts down. And as you will get to know, hopefully, these are the words from our person on mine. Is Erskine perfect? It is for me. Is it for you? I don't know. Ben Hine here, glad that you're here today, certainly. Um, consult other people. You know your personality. And I'm going to tell you, if you want to be known by your social security number, you don't want your professors to know who you are. You don't want anyone else to know who you are. You want to be an anonymous person. This isn't the place for it. Professors are going to know who you are. Your friends are going to know who you are. People on campus will know what you're doing. And that is unique. <clears throat> now it's time to decide if this is the place you want to spend the next four years of your life. I uh, am praying for you and God's blessings, parents and students, as you are now coming to the close of this college process. Hopefully none of you are starting this college process. <laughs> but uh, if I can uh, answer any questions for you, I'd be happy to do so. And I appreciate your time and very glad that you're here. And congratulations, um, you're here because you've got some kind of scholarship. <coughs> and uh, congratulations to you. Thank you very much.